All right, so the first conversion that we want to do here is from minutes to hours. Uh, the problem that we've been given is to convert 45 minutes into how many hours this is going to be. So we need to know a conversion factor to help us out. So let's take a look at a clock just to help us to recognize what this conversion factor is. So we know that in one hour, there will be a passage of 60 minutes. So that's our conversion factor that we're going to use here. So let's set this up and see how it allows us to solve that problem. So as I'm setting this up, the first thing I always want to do is record the number that I've been provided information about. So that is the 45 minutes. We're just going to write this in fraction form, so I'm going to go ahead and put that over 1. My next step is to use that relationship with the clock that we were just looking at. And that was that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. Now, where am I going to put those numbers in this fraction? The units are going to tell me where to put the numbers. So let's go ahead and put the units in first. The unit that I would like to cancel out of this is the minutes. The unit that I would like to get in my final answer is hours. So we can see, just like when we're multiplying fractions, we're going to be able to cross-cancel those units of minutes. So now we need to just put in the right numbers with hours and minutes based on the relationship that we saw on the clock. So we know that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And we can see how this sets up. We're going to take minutes here, cancel with minutes here. We're going to be left with a unit of hours, which is what we were looking for. Mathematically, all we need to do now is to take 45, multiply by 1, divide by 60. If you want to skip the multiply by 1, that's fine. 45 divided by 60 gives us an answer of 0.75 hours. Let's take a look at our next one. In this question, we're being asked to convert from centimeters to meters. So let's take a look at a meter stick to help us out with that relationship. So we know that the distance between my fingers right now is one meter, right? Now another way of describing the distance between my fingers, other than saying one meter, is to say that this is 100 centimeters between my fingers. So that is a true relationship between meters and centimeters. That's the relationship I want to use in order to do this conversion problem. Again, to set this up, I'm going to take the number that I've been given, 15 centimeters, And we're going to write that over 1 just to put this in fraction form. Now I want to put in the units. The unit I want to cross cancel is centimeters. So that's going to go down here in the denominator. In the numerator, I'll put the unit that I'm trying to convert to. That's meters. And once again, we want to use the relationship that we know is true based on having just looked at that meter stick. We know that in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. The key part of all these conversion problems is this. Whenever you're using a conversion fraction like this one, whatever is in the numerator must be equivalent or equal to what's in the denominator. If it's not, that's a recipe for disaster. If it is, you're good to go. We can see that centimeters cancels here and here. We're going to be left with units of meters. That's what we want in our final answer. So all we need to do now is to take 15 and divide by 100 to get the answer. So we come up with an answer of 0 0.15 meters. In our final question, we're looking at this problem. We're converting 355 meters to kilometers, or kilometers if you like. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Once again, let's record that value that we've been provided information about. This is 355 meters. Going to go ahead and put that over 1. And then I need to know the relationship, let's fix that M, I need to know the relationship between meters and kilometers. So I know there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. The unit of meters is going to cancel. I'm left with the unit of kilometers, which is what I want to find. Only thing left to do now is to divide 355 by 1,000 to find an answer of 0 0.355 kilometers. One quick note about sig figs, uh, with 
conversion problems like this, what I always teach my students is to keep the same number of sig figs that you begin with in your final answer. So here we started out with a time measurement that had two sig figs. So let's go ahead and report two sig figs in our converted value. 15 centimeters, two sig figs. Let's report two sig figs in our final answer. And 355 meters had three sig figs. So we're going to report three sig figs with our final answer. Hope you found this helpful and good luck with all of your conversion problems.